get on the Mihinta today, I got a cool little tip for you uh, dealing with image sequences. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, I'm Danny Rubio, video resident here at Online Creator Studio. On this channel, create video content on photos, videos, and tutorials on Final Cut Pro, Motion, and Adobe Lightroom. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, today we're gonna to be creating a image sequence. Uh, there's a couple things that I learned while trying to do this. I learned uh, this one tip from the Apple Creative people when I went to the Final Cut Creative Summit and uh, they didn't have the recording, so I couldn't go back and rewatch it. So I had to kind of use what I remembered to create. And so this is what I came up with it. One thing I did to learn is that you do have to have a, a dot zero zero one dot zero zero two uh, before your file type to create an image sequence. Otherwise, it won't bring up this dialog box. So if I hold this here, you can import it as stills or image sequence. I'm going to import this as an image sequence. Now, what an image sequence does is essentially it is a a quick clip between each of the images that you've put together. So if I cycle through these, I have each of those in a quick sequence. It's, so it's one little frame. Now, uh, what's cool here is we can use a replicator. Now, uh, obviously we don't wanna do a rectangle. I'm gonna come over here and do a line. And uh, because we're kind of creating like a, a news broadcaster sort of image, uh, for the days of the week, um, but we're actually only, we don't want five, we want three. That way it fits in each of the boxes. In the inspector over here in the control cell, one thing you have to do is you have to deselect the play frames because if you do play frames, it then just cycles through like crazy. So you have to deselect this and I want to do random start frame and boom, we have each of the, the little icons here. Now, if I wanted to change them, I could cycle through this random seed and it would change uh, them in the order. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add a per behavior for rep a sequence replicator. And I'm gonna add a rotation. Uh, I'm gonna do 90 degrees and I'm gonna add a scale and I'm gonna make that to zero. So now if I come over here, uh, oh, and I wanna change this from, uh, now it's gonna be really slow, so I'm gonna make this uh, about a minute and a half. And what we're gonna do is we play this, boom, and each one of them animates. Super awesome, a fun little way to add some animation content here. Uh, obviously, I think this has a lot of awesome uh, applications when it comes to creating animations. That's it. Now, like I was saying, this is uh, one of those little things I think can be really uh, powerful when you're working on other projects, other titles or effects or whatever. So let me know if you've used this before uh, and if you've, or if you've never heard of it and you'd like to see something else made with this sort of technique. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Adios.